So hello microbe hunters, uh, it's Oliver again and today I want to talk about a question that I receive um, yeah, relatively, relatively frequently. Um, people would like to know um, how good the optics of a particular microscope are. And I'm going to answer this slightly differently and I'm going to give you the answer right away. Um, the optics are as good as of the competition which uses the same optics. That's kind of a little bit not a very nicely formulated English sentence, but essentially it means um, pretty much the optics are the same among uh, different uh, microscope brands. And this is uh, what I'm going to talk about today. Yeah, okay, so uh, first of all, many people who want to buy a microscope, of course, want uh, to make sure that uh, the microscope that they buy, that uh, basically that this microscope fulfills their needs and that the quality is sufficiently high. And uh, then they want to know if uh, the optics, the objectives uh, that are supplied with a microscope, if they are sufficiently good. And uh, I'm going to simply show you now, and it's a little bit my intention in this video, that um, actually the, uh, many different microscope brands use the same optics, okay? Uh, because it's like this that uh, the microscopes are or the optics at least the objectives these are the objectives here okay um, it is like this that they are often manufactured in China and then if uh, you have uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I were to start a microscope company now selling microscopes what I would do is I would simply buy a whole bunch of these uh, optics uh, of these objectives and then I would simply fit them on my microscope and uh, then I would simply brand them under my name okay or under my company's name and this is actually something that many uh, companies are, are doing uh, they are uh, basically buying the same uh, optics, the same objectives, and then they're simply attaching them to their microscopes and they're rebranding it, okay? And in order to show you that uh, this is actually the case, I uh, actually went into Amazon and I checked uh, a couple of companies. I looked at Amscope, Swift, and Omax, and I just discovered that, well, I found microscopes uh, that basically all seem to have used the same optics, okay? And uh, it's like this that uh, I know these optics because also in school where we work we have a microscope uh, that actually uses the same. So at least on the outside it looks the same. Um, I suppose it's therefore the same, uh, the, the same objective, okay? Um, and it's like this that um, as uh, you, because uh, you use the same optics, the image quality is expected to be the same, okay? Um, so this essentially means uh, that um, ultimately it probably does not really matter very much which brand of microscope you buy because if it has the same objectives connected to it then the image quality is going to be the same okay so that's uh, one answer and the second answer is um, well those um, optics uh, the 160 millimeter DIN um, optics objectives uh, these are the low cost or uh, that's low cost standards that you find on many introductory um, and uh, also entry level microscopes but not the very low end but uh, the medium to low end uh, microscopes and basically they're already good enough so that you can do pretty much everything that you want to do as an amateur and as uh, m maybe if you also want to buy it uh, for educational reasons you can do all of the things okay only if you need very very high-end uh, um, um, objectives for highly specific purposes then you're probably not going to be shopping in that price range anyway and you're probably going to uh, really a high-end uh, brand microscope manufacturers and they have their completely separate line of, of objectives and optics anyway but at the medium to low end range, uh, basically it's so often like this that these um yeah these um objectives are simply manufactured in bulk and then basically fit uh, fitted on on different uh, types of microscopes that are then rebranded under uh, yeah different names. For example, I found the same objectives uh, in Swift, uh, Euromex, uh, BHM, um, in Omax, uh, in Amscope, uh, and so on. So there are many microscopes that are uh, different microscope brands that actually have the same um, this type of um, object. And what I did is then the following, I said, okay, mm -hmm. uh, let's check another source. And what I've done is, is uh, I actually found uh, the objective also in Alibaba, which is a, a, a web uh, yeah, a web shop uh, for, for companies, a Chinese web shop. And as uh, sure enough, uh, you can buy them there in bulk and they even offer you the possibility uh, to print on a specific yeah, logo or something. So you can customize even these objectives and you can buy them in bulk. Um, and uh, yeah, and I also found uh, uh, on Amazon that uh, they were actually also selling simply those objectives. Okay, so uh, you can see that uh, there are probably not that many manufacturers worldwide that make different uh, microscope objectives, but it's simply like this that they're manufactured in large quantities and then they're basically 
put on, on, on different uh, microscopes. Okay, so to kind of summarize uh, <coughs> your, your question, how good are the optics of a specific microscope brand? Um, answer number one, for amateur and education use, Good enough, definitely good enough. Uh, I don't even have to look through the microscope to know that because if it were really bad, uh, then um, it is like this, then you wouldn't be able to sell the microscope in the first place. And in the meantime, um, we are already at the, I mean, already many years ago, we were already at the theoretical limit of, of, of what uh, light is able to resolve. Um, so that is not the issue. Low cost objectives indeed have, can be a little bit blurry on the edges, but uh, unless you really specifically look for that, probably you wouldn't even, no even notice that uh, unless you were to, to specifically look for it. So that is number one, um, unless you don't buy toy microscopes but they don't have those objectives anyway okay um, that is can, kind of clear um, but it is like this that uh, for general use uh, it's going to be good enough and the, the second answer is is, is that uh, um, it's probably not a good uh, thing to compare the objectives uh, among brands because they're using the same objectives anyway and it could also be something that's often ignored is what about the eyepiece why is nobody talking about the eyepiece because the eyepiece quality also can have a significant impact on the overall image quality okay um, and third answer is the following probably there are other factors that have a significantly higher impact on image quality than the objective um, how well is your sample prepared is there any dust or dirt somewhere in, in the in, yeah in the light light path uh, this can have a significant impact uh, the setting of the condenser um, uh, whether they're basically the maybe even the camera itself the the dynamic range of the camera might have a stronger impact so there are many many other factors that can influence image quality uh, but generally as a general rule if you buy yourself 160 millimeter din objectives uh, all of them are good enough they're achromatic objectives they're good enough for general general work uh, especially if you are um, an, an amateur hobbyist or in, into education and if you basically are doing research or something else um, where you need something specific then you're not uh, going to be shopping at that price range anyway okay um, and then you'll be contacting anyway a, a high-end microscope manufacturer so this is kind of uh, should uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, take a little bit of the stress away. It really doesn't matter probably which microscope you buy. It probably doesn't matter so much uh, uh, because uh, they're probably all of them are comparable. And look for other things. Look for the size of the microscope. Uh, um, look for um, a trinocular head like this to attach a camera. That's uh, something worth also investing a little bit. Look for other things, whether you're like using the microscope, but probably the type of objectives attached is are probably not um, yeah, the most, probably not the most important factor, simply because uh, the modern objectives are all yeah, pretty good already anyway, um, at least for general purpose work. I wish you a nice day. Happy microbe hunting as always. And yeah, leave your comments. Uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye. All the best.